uh, Timmy Two Cents, and we're gonna get this shit sorted. Uh, let's see. I've hit the button, my Discord is lagging ever so slightly. The lag may be me. There's an argument to be made that the lag may be me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the call. Let's just hope- You're in the call. Hey, Timmy. How you doing, brother? Not too bad, not too bad. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm in the middle of a move. It's stressful, uh, yeah. but you know. Dude, I feel that. Me too. Me too. I, uh, dude, yeah, same. Uh, it so, would probably, but, uh, yeah. You go ahead. You didn't ahead. like my video. No. Which is okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get my video rolling on this side so it's not weird. Let me turn on camera. Here we go. All right, hey. cool. You see me now? There he is. There's the handsome chappy. Yeah, uh, I wasn't a massive fan of the video. I do appreciate that you reached out to do a conversation instead of us just firing videos at one another. Because um, obviously a lot of people have questions and including me, I've got some that I've written down. I feel like you've got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, just before we get into this, I, I did go through your video and basically go through each of the points that you had made in yours. And mm -hmm. I, I think there are maybe... What's that? Oh, they can't hear you. Okay, hang on one second. Uh -oh. Let me make sure people can hear you. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead and speak for me. La 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 la, bo 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 bo. Is that, did that work? Am I hmm. audible? Mm. I, okay, so normally, okay, so just a little background. I normally stream on a two PC setup. And so mm. I was scrambling to get all this set up because I packed up the other rig and they still can't hear. Okay, give me one second because I want people to be able to hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, I get you. This is amateur you to, hour. Sorry. You want me to sing opera and, and then the, you'll know when they hear it because they'll go, oh my God, that majestic voice. <laughs> I don't need yeah, yes. I know, right? When uh, I am down <laughs> and all. <laughs> well, no, don't worry, brother. This happens to me all the time. I'm known for having a scuffed stream. So this is, this is yeah. not a surprise to me. Uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. Properties. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to do a total nub thing. That's okay. I once did a game show. Um, I brought on a different streamer to do a game show on my stream and my Discord wouldn't open and it kept crashing and closing. Also, I interviewed the woman who played Lala on the Teletubbies and I forgot to buy Zoom, uh, the app, so it cut out halfway through and we missed out on the second half of the interview. So I am no stranger to, you know, scuffed technology. All right, anybody in chat, if you hear his voice, just let me know while I troubleshoot this. I'll keep talking. Um, what's what's annoying is like it's showing your audio coming through. Mm. Um, go ahead and speak again. Hey. Uh, oh, hi. there it is. You did it. There it is. There it is. I think I figured it. I think I think I figured it out. Amazing. All right, someone in hi, chat Timmy's confirm. Chat. Someone in chat hi. confirm. Uh, that should be it. Um, testing one two three. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Sounds much better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Back to okay. So so here we go. Okay. So back back to what I was saying. I I I went through your video. I wrote a bunch of stuff down. I I, I think there are a handful of things I would love to have changed about the video. Little mistakes here and there. But I think mm -hmm. overall, I I do I do think um, I disagree with most of your feedback. And I, and rather than going me. and doing video responses and going back and forth and me making a video response and then you making a video response, I feel like this is you can get right to the point. Right. That's um, fair. That's fair. I will say, so, before you carry on, I just want to say, I'm interested in you saying that it comes down to a difference of opinion when it clearly doesn't. It's not a difference of opinion. You've been shat on for that. It's not a difference of opinion. When you're misquoting people and editing quotes out of context, that's not a difference in opinion. Okay, so, and and, and, we'll, and, and we'll go through that. A lot of my misquotes, like like for example, the, one, one of the ones you, you brought up, and we, and, we'll, and we can go through it, is mm -hmm. you attribute malice if I make, make a mistake when, when it, it, a, a lot of the misquotes are like a quote from her book. And, and I say, Sue said this, and it, it will be like Solomon in the preface, right? And you, overall, clear, like, yes, that's like... Now, just to yes. be clear, you said that Sue says things like this in her book, and then you say at least she's consistent in her messaging, which means that you're saying those are Sue's words when they're not Sue's words. 
Not that you made a little mistake here and there, oopsie poopsie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 so I would argue her book. You know, she picks a psychologist. You know, the Solomon guy who you know wrote a book about um, you know children being very different than their parents. Mm-hmm. You know, Far so she, she 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 finds a psychologist who agrees with her. You know, overall theory about mental health, which is fine. It's what everybody does. It's called rhetoric. You know, it's fine. And she uses him to write the um, you know the forewarn and. You know, it, it, yeah, those aren't her words, and 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 this is one of the corrections that I would like to make. Is like, yeah, yeah, I messed that up. It wasn't her word; it was her book. And no, and and, and, and so here's the thing. Here, here, but 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 just one like okay, one one ahead. second. That is, that is a mistake, and, and this is one of the mistakes that I will correct. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm burping. And and it is a mistake that I that I want to correct. However. You take that and you say, oh, you're being dishonest and, gen- mm-hmm. and, and disingenuous, which yes. implies intent, which implies mm-hmm. that I went in there and tried to misquote her, which I didn't have to because she 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 doubled down on that idea in no, her TED Timmy, talk, Timmy, Timmy, in her Timmy, book, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. and in other places. Second. Stop for a second. You said that those were Sue's words when they weren't, and it was clearly not Sue's words because when you put the text up on the screen, everything is in third person. Now, you and I know Sue Klebold just enough to know that she doesn't speak in third person. I'd love to know, how did you end up doing that? Did you just control F to try and find what it was well, that you were looking for? Okay, so so to look at this from another standpoint, what, do you think I would have like thought I would get away with that? Like this is yes. like like if it is so obvious to you, mm-hmm. um, and and that she actually does believe those words and those are and, and it matches up with her opinion. It's, Timmy, th- th- this is a mistake. Okay, I'll okay. Like you don't have children, right? No. I we like we just had a newborn. Okay, we no, have, we, have, we have three before kids. Before you move and, on, Timmy, I'm holding no, 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 you to the this, point. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm yeah, so hold I'm, you to I'm, the point I'm explaining quick. how you make mistakes. I okay, researched this video over I researched this video over two or three weeks. I was doing a video. The whole reason I got into this Columbine research is because I was making a video on the other channel about um a kid who, you know, got locked up for seven years for, you know, making a threat in uh RuneScape, um, a school shooting threat right so i got into this topic i started learning about columbine and so i was just researching this thing over two or three weeks and this is a huge video there is so much Timmy, what content that i went point. through get to the point okay and so you know i had a quote that i that i that, that i wanted to put in the video and when i went to editing i wanted to put that quote in and i read it mm-hmm. and i and i when i was doing the voiceover i said you know sue said this and it's it's from and her book she's it's consistent not what she said. in her messaging you said that those yes. were Sue's words and that she was consistent with her messaging. Now, I don't necessarily agree that she believes those words. Also, I just want to address you believe saying, the words of what? for example, wait, just wait one second. For example, you saying that um, people that Sue added this in a book because she agrees with the messaging. The foreword in books doesn't always, the author doesn't agree with the person who wrote the foreword. For example, in this book, which is them, my favorite book, the foreword is written by Russell Brand. In the foreword, he But that's not the book that we're talking about. I know. So it, it, I know. I'm making the point, Timmy. I'm making the point that the it's person who It's called the red herring. It has book, nothing to do. No, 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 but no. But in no. this case, The person who writes the book doesn't have to agree with the person who's writing the foreword to the book. But they so do in, in this case. in this book, for example, I just had one right here. In this book, Russell Brand disagrees with what John Rodson writes and says that he's only writing the foreword because his manager forced him to. They don't have to agree with it. Just because it's in the same book, it doesn't mean that Sue believes those words. Those are two in this independent case, different it does. people. No, it doesn't. In this case, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so 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 where does Sue disagree with Solomon then? Where does Sue, well, she didn't say those words, first of all. Just to be clear. Okay, well, tell me, does she disagree with Solomon? Tell me, tell me where she disagrees. It like it, because she, she doesn't say those words herself. If she did, you would have included them. What words? What words? The words that that he says in that quote. What are we even arguing about? <laughs> we're, to, we're arguing about that specific quote, which you attributed to uh, Sue Klebold. What, and like you do quote? it twice in it. So, well, let's bring it up. The, the quote so, which we're talking about. Go, no, hold says, on. Do you want us to bring up the I quote? I have it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um... So it was in 1455 of your video. You're okay. This, okay, just for context, this is all being brought up because I used the, um, the quote in her TED talk. Um, and at the very end of her video, which is in the end, what I know comes down to this the tragic fact is that even the most vigilant and responsible of us may not be able to help. Um, but for love's sake, we must never stop trying to know the unknowable. Yes. And so in and Solomon's quote, quote Yes. Well, well, no, no. So, so, so this is context, right? So, mm-hmm. in Solomon's book, 
he um basically i'll pull it up right now how about that i'll t i think i remember it we're gonna I go all the way to the very it. beginning so, so i'm pulling quote, it up on my screen but the, the quote that andrew solomon writes is that the the message of this book is terrifying that you may not always know your child that they may be unknowable to you those are the words which that, is the same it, no, it's essentially not. the it's same not. thing that she says in her TED talk. yes it's not the same as the same Okay, so when he's saying that is his opinion, Sue, when she's talking about it in a TED talk, he's very clearly talking, the whole talk is about depression and how suicide thinking can lead to homicidal thinking. And she speaks about it in a TED talk. She says specifically, you, you cannot always know what your child is thinking and feeling. Now, what we're talking about, Timmy, isn't thinking and feeling. Your point is that Sue could have gone into his bedroom and found evidence that would have been, that would have led to no, her. No, no, I never said that. I never That's said that. Argument. No, argument. I never said that in the video. No, 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 no. Uh, hang uh, on, hang yes, on. you did. Yes, you did. You said no. that the notebooks and the tapes were screaming to be found in his bedroom. You said there was screaming. By the police to be found, in the school. By the police in the school. No, that's in, not what in you the said. context you of the police school. No, no, no. No, you so, said that so, so they listen, were screaming my, my to be overall, found. Like, like, listen, I'll speak for myself. In 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 my video, I made the case that the school was at fault. The police uh, were at fault. Uh, Culture was at fault. Um, did, hold on, just one second. That's literally in the just, wait, it was in the conclusion. Second. Just wait one second. What you said about the police was that they were warned, but they could be forgiven because this was the late nineties and we're still the. No, I never uh, said. I never yes, you, forgave yes, them. You, no, you said when? you yes yeah you said that now right at the end. No, I said they were at fault, on, and I said it was on, egregious that they didn't uh, raid his house. Yeah, hold on. Right at the end of the video, you say there's a number of things that go into this. There's, uh, you know, th there's the police. There's uh, the lack of guns. There's the social issues. But the main issue is bad parenting, which we'll get into. But when we're I said talking, the most important. Yeah, the most important cause of Columbine was bad parenting, which we will get into. But what you spoke about uh, in it, when you mentioned the police and you said that Randy and Judy Brown had handed this information to them, you said that they, di they didn't take action, but you did say, and I can't remember the exact word, so I don't want, want to misrepresent you, but you did clearly say that um, that they could be that there was something forgivable about it because it was the internet. I said that they were the screaming to be found, but no, like, like, like now listen. I too. said that the guns and, and the notebooks and everything were screaming to be found because Eric had a website saying he was going to shoot people and shoot people at the school, and a parent sent it into the police, and mm -hmm. the school knew about it, and no one mm -hmm. investigated it. That's uh, what I was re referring to. I. My my, my, I even specifically went out of my way and said, uh, Sue didn't beat uh, Dylan. You yeah. know, she, she's not, she, like, she's not this monster parent. She's mm -hmm. a bad parent. And that is her mm -hmm. role in this whole thing. You see, this, and, and I so think this when, is where we disagree. Well, I don't, okay. It is fine to disagree. Like, I, I, I grant, like, granted, this is a controversial video. I expected people to disagree. Where, where I get frustrated is you mm -hmm. um, claim that it's dishonesty and malice on my part because I, di I disagree with you. No, it's not because you disagree. This doesn't come down to disagreements. So you quoted that quote as if it, Andrew Solomon was Sue, and you said that at least she's consistent in her messaging. That doesn't seem like a and mistake. And that was a me. mistake. And even no, even when you went back, was, when you were dude, editing, I, I quoted did, her book, and and I and I said that this was Sue's quote, and I messed that up. But it's much also consistent her with her overall. It's not. Um, how much did you read a book? I I skimmed through the book just like I said mm -hmm. in my TED talk. You did. You did. How much did you skim through it? How much of it did you skim through? I I did like basically speed reading and mm -hmm. and, and and skim through di like different chapters. Um, th F. There was a lot of stuff. No, no. Okay, what did you think about the restaurant scene where he, he, she's at uh, McDonald's with Dylan? What did you make of that scene? Go on. Oh, tell me about it. You, you you've read the book, right? I did, yeah, back just after okay, I left college. So, I read so it, Dylan yeah. walks in and he's uncomfortable. Why is he uncomfortable he is. in the McDonald's? Uh, I I don't actually recall. Why you didn't read then? the book? I uh, guess I you did. didn't read college. the book. Yes, okay, so tell me, this is a very profound scene. Mm -hmm. It's a it's, it's a it is a big part because of the book towards the end of the book. Yeah, because you on. didn't read the book. Because I did right after I left college. I haven't read it. Okay, recently. so I'm I'm going to remind you more. So they're at McDonald's. They're yeah, they're they're sitting down at the table. And why Dylan is really uncomfortable. Why is Dylan uncomfortable? Why didn't because you, you didn't read the, the book. Question. Yes, because, I did. Because listen, okay. Yes, I did. I'm fine. I'm fine being patronized for not reading the book from cover to cover. Okay. But if you're claiming to to hold yourself to the same standard, you tell me what happened. Timmy, what I'm saying is not that you didn't read the whole book, right? I think I just caught I'm you with your pants down. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm saying, okay. Timmy, what I'm saying is that when you went in you search read the book. for that admit idea, can you admit you I admit it, I didn't read the whole book. You control left. You took a screenshot. You put it on the screen. Even when you were editing, you could see around that quote when you highlighted it that it wasn't true. can you admit that you didn't read the book? No, I've read the book. Can, can you admit I've read us? the book a long time away ago. Now, a I long time ago? You, your video was a month ago. You, you made yeah, your video yeah, yeah, a month yeah, ago. Yeah, I didn't, no, no, I didn't claim to have read a book in the thing. I didn't, I didn't say, okay, I read so the whole book you recently. You Last read week I read it. I can recite all of the information out of it. That's I'm not asking true. you to recite things. Now, I'm asking I've got a very questions basic thing. for you, Timmy. Right, because I I've been very the RB, I, I'm not I'm not I'm not going to let you very, change the uh, subject right now. To you. I've been very generous to you, and I've answered your questions and I've offered the odd one in response. But I feel like we should have a fair back and forth because when you said that all oh, this was all a mistake, that was a mistake, and that you quoted her out of context. I'd like to also know because it wasn't the only time you did it. You also did it with uh, the counselor Andrea Sanchez. From the council, from the diversion program, the counselor, you her. the yes, counselor recalled. Okay, so 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 listen, you're changing the subject here. Can can no, no, you admit that you thing. didn't read the book? I read the book. It's the same thing. Okay, so it's tell me what happened at the McDonald's. It's the exact same thing. Tell me what happened at the McDonald's. Same thing. Why did Dylan it's get up and leave? It's the exact same thing. It's what the are you exact talking about? Same thing. What what What's I'm the exact talking same about? Thing? Well, you saying that this was her quote when it wasn't, and then you did it later on, and now you're trying to change the subject again. If, okay. if that was no, also no. a mistake, uh, let's deal with it one by yeah. one. Let's make our okay, way fine, through the whole fine, thing. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Because that didn't come up in your video. It didn't come up in my right. video. That's not what we're so, arguing about. And I bet no, we're probably not going to disagree okay. with what happened in the McDonald's. I've accused you. No, no, no. Of, I'm just asking you what happened. I know. I'm, I, I, I'm aware of you that, don't even... but that's got nothing to do with what's in your video and my video. I'm accusing you of misrepresenting quotes as if they were Sue's. Address it, Timmy. Stop trying to hide. Address it. H hide, hide what? What are you talking about? You're refusing to address okay. the fact so that you the, misquoted the counselor, the counselor okay. Andrea so, Sanchez as okay, so, Sue Klebold. So here's what happened with the counselor si situation. The counselor sat down, interviewed Dylan, er interviewed Eric, interviewed yep. Sue, interviewed mm -hmm. the parents, and she had her own notes. And then she had the notes that, uh, you know, were more objective that, that Sue actually signed, right? You know? Yes, um, so, Sue's so a part. In, in, what, what I find really funny is in, in your video, you said mm -hmm. Sue, you know, didn't even know about any of this. She didn't have access to this until six months later. That's but she was there about, and... Uh, that's, no, no, no. no, no. Like, These are two dude, you, you have to let me finish here. What? I know, but so, I'm holding you to the point because the point that I made about that isn't to do with this quote. What I'm saying, because in her book, she says that she didn't read that. She didn't know about that bit in the diversion report. There's a quote in her book, which you skimmed through, okay. where she uh, said so, that. Uh, can, can, can you let me get a thought in? Okay, so, Absolutely. Go ahead. As long what, as it's addressing what, my question. What happened oh, was, is the, is the counselor recorded an objective third-party recount of what people had told her in 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 the family history so there's a segment you know where where the council mm -hmm. interviews everybody in in the family yep and at, at, at one point she writes um you know the sue the Klebold family had some disagreements with byron who's the uh, brother of dylan you know and uh, sue's other son um she re writes that she that that the family or or the parents kicked byron out of the house Mm -hmm. And so I used that in my video as evidence that uh, she was kicked out of the house. Now, what's really that funny Sue is openly in... admits to kicking Byron out of the house, even though she blatantly denies it. She denies uh, kicking no, Byron no, out of no. the house. No, no, no. So I provide the quote to me. She denies so, so, kicking Byron out of the house. And uh, you said that I she actually... openly admits to kicking her out of the house. And then she had a quote as if that was Sue saying it. Um, so, so, so I quoted the counselor um, who, ha you know, I interviewed the family, and and I attributed well, that information words. from the Klebold family. Well, uh, the words. counselor wouldn't have like made this up. It doesn't make well, any they sense. And it's not. Words. Um, I, I, I actually want to find in the book what she says about this because I think I okay. wrote some notes. Um, Go ahead. Uh, so, so the the the, the family answer, blah blah blah, and like well, later in the words, notes. By the way. Uh, Dude, dude, you, you've got to let me finish, man. No, Come well, on. Yeah, but you can um, yes and no. It's over in a second, and I, I sit back, and I let you read out your quote. Were they Sue's words? So so in in, in Sue's words in the book, she mentions Wait, that— Was that Sue's uh, words? Dude, dude, you've got to let me finish, man. I will, absolutely, I, I will. I'm talking about her book. Yes, it is her words. She like uh, she no, mentions that— No, in the diversion notes, it's not. Go ahead, go ahead. In her book, she mentions that Byron was left on his own accord. It was amicable. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and in the counselor pay, paperwork, uh, you know, uh, the the counselor wrote down from the family history that he was kicked out of the house. Uh, Dylan, in the diversion paperwork, which Sue signed, um, you know, he, he, he wrote Byron as the least supportive member in his family, and he isn't involved with my life. Um, and, and that and that was when he was in high school. And Byron must have been like, I guess, 19 at the time. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, the the background there. So what, so what, what does Sue's this change? Words, so it's not Sue's words. Uh, yeah, so so okay. so there are right, a good. so there are a, a a handful of times in my video where I, I get slight little things wrong like that, but 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 the overall picture <laughs> that Byron is a troubled kid who who, who got yeah. you know a felony for breaking into a a store, was yeah. driving drunk and got and, and got a DUI, and you know was left the home. You know whether it was kicked out or not. It's kind of irrelevant, and I, um, I find this like really odd. Like, what, like, what, like, what does that, this have to do with anything? You said that Sue kicked him out of the house. That Sue openly admits to kicking him out of the house, which would give everyone the image that she kicked her son out of the house. And then you said that's the quote, even though it's not by Sue, and she denies it. She denies kicking him out. So it's two lies in one to me. No, no, but, but see, but, but this is a different, a, 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 a difference of opinion. Okay. No, no, it so, isn't. No, 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 no. It's a difference no, 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 of opinion. No, 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 it fact. is. But, but it's a difference but me, in okay. integrity, no, no, no. Timmy. Like, it's listen, a difference in what, integrity. What, no, no. What Sue says in her book is not fact. We we have a third party objective person, a counselor, the fact who is, is that she didn't write the quote and she denies kicking him out of the house. And you said the fact that you said that but the she openly does admits not. to kicking him out of the house is not true. She doesn't. But the counselor admit. does not. the uh, The counselor that interviewed the family wrote that he was kicked out of the house. So, so, so this is debatable. Uh, th like this is debatable. And because and, you said and, that Sue openly admits to it, why did you say that Sue, if, openly, Sue openly admits to it? Um, because she reported that to a counselor. In a in a a, a licensed counselor, a Dylan licensed counselor, counselor who. No, the mom did. The mm -hmm. counselor interviewed everyone in the family. Yes. yes. And that's yes. not presented She, she as interviewed Sue's everyone words. in the family. She did. And she interviewed you what? Dylan. No, she okay. This, okay. Dylan. Okay. And the analogy is Sue's imagine words. if. Dude, dude, you have to let me speak, man, or I'm going to hang up, okay? Uh, so you, you have to let me speak. You can't just keep interrupting. I'm letting you speak, okay? Um, so in the medical field, if you go and speak to a doctor, okay, and you tell the doctor, I have this problem, I have this problem, whatever, and they write that in the notes. Um, yeah, you can argue like, did they say it or not? Or was it the doctor saying it? But it, it's the note. So a clinician, a counselor who is interviewing a family, when they write into their bio, the family history, they're mm -hmm. reporting what is told to them. It's what Sue yes. said. No, okay? no, 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 so, no, 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 yes, it is. No, 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 okay, no, 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 you just said that. Listen, dude, when, when I, like, you, have to let, you have to let, you have to let me finish. When, when a detective is interviewing somebody for a murder case and they write down, you know, the person says that, you know, they left the house at 5 p.m. in a black car or whatever, whatever, whatever. It is, it is what the person told to the detective in the same way that this is what the family told to the counselor. It's really disingenuous for you to say that I'm being like malicious or, 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 or trying to like give false truths. What, what the counselor said is that the family told her that that, 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 that Byron was kicked out of the house. It's not crazy. This is not some situation where I'm like you twisting the truth. Okay, let me just say, you and, said and, that and, and also, I would words. like to know why is this so important to you? Be I'll tell this, you why. This, Be uh, of whether Byron is is kicked out or not, because it makes no. Sue look like a bad mom who has no control over her children and because has two bad children. True. Because it's not true. It is because, true. No, you said those were Sue's words. Did well, he now not get arrested saying, for a DUI? Now was, yes. Did, now did he not get arrested that for a DUI? All these, that she interviewed all the family, even though what you said was those were Sue's words, and you said that Sue openly admits to kicking Byron out of the house, even though the quote clearly says in a book that when she got access to the diversion notes after the shooting, she denies it. When she got she access, denies it in her book. This isn't like her, there you her, go. Her, her book is an objective openly reality. Openly admits to kicking Byron out of the house isn't true. Thank you. What okay. do you mean it isn't true? On? Sue openly admits to kicking Byron no, out of the house. No, she admitted. She admitted to kicking Byron out of the house to a counselor in objective no. paperwork. But no, when she goes and writes her book twenty years counselor, later, she she doesn't write that. The, again, the counselor uh, in uh, their objective interview. Objective reality. No, no, no. The, yes, objective the, the, reality says she kicked Byron out. Her own account uh, in her own book with with no editor that's holding her to any uh, kind of truth can write whatever she wants. Of course. <laughs> no. But the, no, the, the counsel, paperwork, hold on, the dude, licensed just, professional, just listen. Let's just clear this The up. licensed professional just give me one minute. disagrees with her. Just give me one minute. So in the 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 impression that the counselor got with their interview with the family was that um that 
she had kicked Byron out of the house, right? And what we know now is that Sue denies it. Will you at least agree with me that Sue now denies kicking Byron out of the house? Regardless of how the council- Of course. Yeah, okay, so why do you say that of Sue course she, she openly denies admits it. to kicking him out of the house? Where The only reason I care about this is the truth. I care if it's the truth, that's it. In my opinion, based on my video in my research, I came to the conclusion that she kicked Byron out because she told a counselor that in no. a meeting she, a long time ago. Now, now the, here's the thing. That no, no, diversion no, 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 paperwork no. was in 1998. This yep. is before Columbine, no, no. okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So after Columbine, when her son, you know, tries to kill everybody at, at school and she's on a media campaign, she writes a book and changes the story and uses her flowery language. And she does this consistently <laughs> over and over and over again. You haven't Timmy. read her book, but Timmy. I actually did go and read, and read her book Timmy. after the video just to make sure Timmy. I didn't miss anything, and I didn't. In the diversion notes, does it say that Sue told the the uh diversion counselor that she kicked byron out of the house it's it is implied when a no. counselor is writing down the family history that they are collecting it from the family it, 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 it would be like saying in, in, in a doctor's or a nurse's chart can, 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 you, you 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 have to let me speak in, in a doctor or nurse's chart you. In a doctor's or a nurse's chart, which is a medical record, very, very mm -hmm. similar to a counselor's way of writing on family history, mm -hmm. they, it is implied that the information gathered is from the patient. Okay, and 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 so I was a paramedic for ten years, and mm -hmm. we uh, will often document things as subjective or objective. We'll see. We'll say that that the patient, you know, states this, or they deny taking this medication, or they affirm this because you know this is subjective, right? I can't val like validate them. And, and some of the information is objective, like you know their blood pressure was X or Y. Okay. It, when when you look through the the paperwork of the diversion paperwork, it, this is like this is the information she got from the family. Sanchez got from. The family, the family reported Byron getting kicked out. Dylan doubles down on this and 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 says that Byron is the one that he's least connected to in the family, and says he's mm -hmm. not around. Yeah. Okay, and th 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 this is all very consistent. Okay, it, well, it's not. And so here's the Let, thing. So, so just, twenty years I'll later, she writes a book. Okay, fine, go. Thank you. So, the the diversion uh, counselor had a meeting with the whole family. The the, the counselor's views was that Byron had been kicked out of the house, and now you're just saying that it was Sue that had told her that, even though she'd had meetings, different meetings with the family. Now you're saying that she's changing her story when it could have been she's Dylan that told her that. changed her story multiple times. It could have been Dylan that told her that. And yet your quote is she openly admits to it, even though that's not true. She doesn't openly admit to it. I think, okay, th like this is my bias, and, I, and I've said this in the video multiple times. I think... Sue is a narcissist. I think that she has changed her story multiple times. I think that she uses that? flowery language. Are you qualified to uh, make and, that? And, and we'll get diagnosis. to that in a second. And okay. so I think that she is, uh, you know, using flowery language throughout her book, which she does in her TED Talk. And when you go and you look back at the objective data, like like the, um, you know, the actual reports that were before Columbine that are in fine print by licensed professionals, they account for different stories than what she accounts for. For example, in, in the diversion paperwork, she, she uses words like, you know, they, they um, you know, discovered a van and like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they 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 found this and they took this because they it's, thought it was yes. abandoned. And it's like no, I mean, they, they 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 fucking broke into a van and committed a felony and stole the electronics out of it. That's actually what happened. And so she has a a, a consistent past of doing this kind of stuff. So okay. about the narcissist stuff, Wait, okay? Just, no, I I will freely admit I regret using the word said. narcissist. I want to address what you just said before we do the narcissism thing. Let me just address what you just did because I'm not going to let that slide. You say that Sue consistently uh, downplays what Dylan did and addresses it all in flowery language. I've got some quotes here that I'd like to read to you. Um, this is from Andrew Solomon's book, the one you mentioned earlier, Far From The Tree, when he interviewed Sue in around 2010, 2011, before his book was released. Um, she said, I saw the end product of my life's work. I had created a monster. Everything I had refused to believe was true. Dylan was a willing participant and the massacre was not a spontaneous impulse. He had purchased and created weapons that were designed to end the lives of as many people as possible. He shot to kill. 
in a different quote in a Guardian article that she wrote, and she actually mentions this in a book that you skimmed through, a single fact had emerged without any ambiguity at all. Dylan had done this thing. Dylan had deliberately killed and injured people. He had derided them as they begged for their lives. He had used racist, hateful language. He had not shown mercy, regret, or conscience. He had shot a teacher. He had killed children in cold blood. Now, both there, you said that she's trying to uh, downplay what her son did. Does that sound like she's trying to downplay it? It, it? Okay, so in this circumstance, she can't because we all saw what happened. She like she can't say he didn't do those things. In fact, she tried to initially. Oh. She said Dylan didn't do this. Dylan couldn't have done this. When she was coming to and then and then and, and and you know what they did? They showed her the fucking tapes. Yeah, because and she and, 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 and and she couldn't. They sat her because down. Do you know what the basement tapes are? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I'm talking about like this happened six months after 1999. We're talking her mm -hmm. her TED talks in the late 2000s, mm -hmm. almost 15, 20 years later. So so at but before the TED talk, she's seen all of this, okay? Yeah. And, and before all these books, 2011 is 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 12 years after 1999, right? Mm -hmm. So so at the time when Columbine first happened, she denied that Dylan did anything. In fact, her yeah, narrative she was, was that Eric was no right? well. Okay, she mm -hmm. like like a normal mom, right? A normal mom doesn't think their 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 kid is is culpable of this or, or mm -hmm. capable rather. So what happened was is Eric, you know, she 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 put ninety nine percent of the blame over on Eric. Eric is the, psych the psychopathic kid. It was his plan, all this stuff. But when when we, when we found the journals, it's actually Dylan who first had this idea of the MBK, the Natural Born Killers. I don't mm -hmm. know if you read the journals. I don't know yeah. if you did any research. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, so, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, who was their other idol that they consistently bring up in the journals? They bring up, they, are you talking about their friend Zach? Or They're, are you talking the, about? The journals, the Eric yeah, and yeah, Dylan, yeah. the, the yeah. two killers, they yes. consistently bring up another person as their idol. Who was it? Yeah, so in the journals, they bring up. Oh, you haven't read the journals! Are you, are you, so you haven't read this? the journals and I've, you haven't read the book and you, and you have, and you have. I was reading the journals yesterday. I was reading the journals yesterday, Tibby. But you made the video a month ago about me and you didn't yeah, do any I research. Read them then. I read them then as well. I was reading those oh yesterday. Oh my God, dude. Okay, so Timothy McVeigh. Okay, so here's the deal. That's in the the Eric's. bombing was supposed to take place on in what Eric's. date? Uh, what 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 date was the bombing supposed to take place? In well, it, it happened in April. It April nineteenth. April nineteenth, yeah, which is the well, anniversary of what? It was which the, is the anniversary of what? Uh, the Oklahoma the Oklahoma City bombings. bombings. Yeah, the Oklahoma bombings. Oh, very you, good. You got that right. No, oh, no, you, you didn't. Timmy. You don't thank know anything. Yes, so great. here's the deal. They planned this. It was a bombing, right? So they they planned it to be on April nineteenth. Why couldn't they do it on April nineteenth? They talk about this in the journals. Timmy, are you going to address what I'm talking about here? Or are we going to keep changing you the You haven't read I'm just seeing if you read the journals. Here, okay, like so keep April 19th, the, subject, I'm not the reason why. It. Okay, right so. here, I've just given you two examples, right? And you still haven't addressed these. All that you've said is, well, that's not. I'm, she, I'm, she I'm getting it to. So, but in your, no, 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 let me finish. You've had to go at me for over talking, talking over you. Let me finish, right? What you say in your video is that she still refused. She still tries to downplay everything. That's the, the impression that you she give couldn't. is that she's still to this day trying to downplay it. She can... She Even can though, downplay things that people can't verify. That's not okay, what so she can downplay Byron because people can't verify unless the documents come out and I bring it up in a video. But she will downplay everything that she can unless it can't be downplayed. She tried to downplay Dylan's involvement and then they showed her the basement tapes. Do you know what the basement tapes are? Of course. Okay, so they're the the videos that yeah. the government put away and said mm -hmm. no one can see them because they're so bad. Yeah. And they talk about why they did everything. Mm -hmm. There are some transcripts. A handful of p uh, of of people have seen it. Yes. Sue saw that and she realized, oh shit, I can't, I, I I can't pin this on Eric. Well, that's your that's your and opinion, so, right? Well, no, no, she, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is not like a con, a con, a controversial take. I think she talks about this in the book. I do remember where, you know, she couldn't imagine it, it was her son, um, child or sunflower child, or like, like, what does she call him? The sun child or whatever. Randy Brown she refers says to him the same several thing times. now, though, right? Randy Brown himself says that he's surprised, like to this day. He have have you reached out to Randy was, Brown? I've watched his interviews. I reached out to Randy Brown and I okay. asked him some questions. I actually Excellent. wanted him to comment on the video. I sent him, mm -hmm. you know, my my idea, and he said, you know, this is interesting. I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. And I sent him the video after it went out, and he, I don't think he wants to get involved. But I reached out to him and I asked him mm -hmm. some of these 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 questions. And I've, I've listened to a lot of interviews with him. But that's irrelevant to what we're talking about right now. We're talking about Sue. So what Sue thinks? Sue 
Um, did thought she Dylan was Let, her on son child. I forget what she uses. She she's says moving son on child. From the fact that Randy Brown has that same image now. Like in his Reddit AMA, he says those things. He says that he to this day can barely he, accept the I disagree Dylan, with uh, I don't care what Dylan Randy Brown involved. thinks. I, oh, I disagree know, okay. with Randy right, Brown. That's interesting. So what does that have to that's do with anything? You you're don't, talking to okay. me, right? That's good to know. All right, I mean, that's good to know. I don't know why we're um, arguing about what Randy Brown thinks. <laughs> why, like, why, why does that matter? Big crux in your video, the Randy Brown thing. All right, my no, turn. No, no. Uh, some my of the things that Randy Brown did. It's my turn. Like, for example... Uh, well, 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 you don't you, care you what Randy Brown has to answer the say. question about Sue you, because you don't like where this is going. You don't going. care so, so, what Randy Brown so, has to say. So my next question to you, Timmy, is why is it that you deceptively edit down Sue's video? Because you cut her off right at the point when she's about to you did give the, same the admission. Thing to me. When she's about to give the admission that she failed as a mother. Your, your you did the same thing, thing to me. No, I didn't. Yes, she, yes. She, so she, you didn't the include all the, the of quotes. The video is that Sue refuses to accept that she failed as a mother. She re refuses to give any admission that she failed as a mother. Did you and watch yet, the Miranda Sings apology video? You cut her off. Oh, yeah, wait, she, with you, ukulele. What's that got to do with this, You're Timmy? familiar. Okay, yeah. What does that have to do with this? Just real quick. I'll explain. Let me explain. So in the Miranda Sings video, do Why you know you that she it? actually did apologize in that video? Why did you edit In the middle of the video. Clip? Why did you edit her Dude, clip? Can you let me? I'm going to explain why. You, no, you, you, you want to know why? Will has you? Nothing to do with this. It does. Let me tell no, you it why. Doesn't. No. So, just tell me. How do you know you it doesn't? It? Tell me why. Well, you I'm going to tell you why. Go ahead. Do you, okay. Listen, dude. If if you want to hear why, I'll tell you. But you got to you got to let me speak. Okay. So in the Miranda Sings video, she actually says that she is sorry in the middle. And she says, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have sent the, the attacks or whatever. Now she does kind of sugarcoat it by calling My a queef a fart, you know? My brother in Christ, this has nothing to do with you yes, cutting Sue off. Why, why, why does nobody accept Miranda Singh's apology video why, as being genuine? Are you, why are you not addressing this? I am, I no, am. Not. Will you let me you, speak? You cut off Sue, right? You didn't include that part where she says that she failed as a mother. Because Why? she ends the video saying that it can't be known and it can't be knowable. The, the, and so, the thoughts and feelings of your loved ones are the unknowable thing. In the TED talk, because the thoughts she, and feelings. And what, the in, thing is, right, the, the, the important point is you're not expecting, as far as I'm aware, and tell me if I'm wrong, right? You're not expecting Sue to be able to read Dylan's mind or everyone to be able to read their child's mind. The evidence that people could find that their child was about to become a school shooter would be, okay. say, in their journals Listen, and stuff. Dude, you have to let me make my, 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 my point. I'm going to give you one more warning. This is the last warning. <sighs> if you keep cutting me off, I'm just going to end this talk and, and I'm just going to make a video or, or do something else. Timmy, so, you've so spoken let me over speak, me okay? many times as so well. In, no, that but, but you're not letting me away. complete this point. No, no, you, okay, you were doing it way worse. Go ahead. So in the Miranda Sings video, the reason why no one finds it genuine is because while she says the words, I'm sorry and I shouldn't have done this, she then later in the video, sh you know, shirks responsibility and becomes a victim. And that's why people don't accept her apology. So Until Sue Klebold, you that out. Uh, you, you, you had to let me finish. So Sue Klebold in certain parts of the video will say that, you know, Dylan has this men, this mental health issue and I can't believe, you know, I didn't catch it and I feel so bad, you know, and, you know, my ignorance is, is, is the thing that I am so she sad about. I wish I had known more about him. And then later on, she says it can't, it, it, it couldn't have been known. She's, Timmy, the and and she goes Timmy, to several, dude, you have to let me fucking, no, okay, no, listen, dude, I'm, I'm going to peace brother. out, dude. You brother, have to let don't me run away. finish speaking. Don't, don't be a coward. What a little coward. Right. I, here's the thing, chat. I tried. I tried. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit that he ran away as a coward. Right. I tried to hold him to the point. He was trying to hold me to the fact that I d haven't read Sue's book recently. Back in college, I read Sue's book. In fact, I did a whole presentation about Sue's book back in college, okay? I read the book. I haven't read it fairly recently. That's fine, okay? All right, I haven't read it recently. I can't remember everything that happened in Sue's book, all right? I think you'll need a moderator. No, a moderator would have not been correct. I'm not letting him get away with his absolute bullshit, okay? I'm not letting him just say things. And when I ask him, why did you cut Sue off? I'm not just gonna let him sit there and go, oh, oh, well, you know, in Miranda Singh's video, the reason people don't accept that. And you know, Sue says at the end of the TED talk about uh, the, un the unknowable, this has fuck all 
to do with the fact that he edited down the the footage of Sue admitting to being uh, uh, like failing as a mother. He didn't let me get to any of the questions. Now, I'm going to read you out the questions that I had for him. And hopefully, Timmy, when you see this, you can go in and you can address this, okay? These are the questions that I want you to address because these are the questions that I had for you. Why, number one, why is it that you cut out um sue's footage of her admitting to failing as a parent right you say that she gives no admission of error which is a lie and it's a theme that runs throughout the whole thing is him suggesting that um that she she never gives an admission of failing as a parent okay uh it was mentioned in the articles that he mentions but doesn't ever quote from from the comment sections and from all of the is he messaged me hold on it would be unprofessional for me to i'm just gonna see if he's addressed no i've just got dms from people um <clears throat> hold on so this is my point goes thusly um in a lot of the uh comment section the articles and stuff that he that he talks about it's actually mentioned in those things it's mentioned in those things he's watching your video he's just run away like a coward it's fine he can make his video i'll make my response video let's just do the back and forth fucking rhubarb in many of the articles she addresses the fact that uh she failed as a mother i'm gonna read you some of the quotes these are from outside quotes the thing is you'll notice in my video the things that i'm addressing are the things that sue uh that that tillon talks about in his video okay so uh, but that left me constrained so let me tell you some more quotes that are from uh outside of timmy's video sue says in her own book if i could talk to dylan i would ask him to forgive me for being his mother and never knowing what was going on inside his head for not being able to help him for not being the person that he could confide in those were sue's words talking about her um her like failure as a parent oh i've been kicked out of <sighs> for fuck's sake hi hi now i've got to look at a different camera this is annoying um <clears throat> dude it, this is so fucking frustrating she said if i could talk to dylan i would ask him to forgive me for being his mother and never knowing what was going on inside his head for not being able to help him for not being the person that he could confide in but that's something that sue says to the author andrew solomon in his book uh, which is uh, uh, Far From the Tree, the book Far From the Tree. I missed it. Unfortunately, Timmy ran away because he didn't like being held to account. Um, also, Sue says, I wish I'd known what Dylan was planning. I wish that I had stopped him. I wish that I had the opportunity to trade my own life for those that were lost. But a thousand passionate wishes aside, I know I can't go back. I do try to conduct my life so that it will honor the lives of those that were shattered or taken by my son. The work I do is in their memory. That's something that Sue Klebold says in a Guardian article. The, all of these things are the things that Sue uh, says that she failed as a parent. I've got hundreds of these examples. His stream was on your side. I appreciate that. Um, people know you won. Uh, he ended the live. because. <laughs> Run! You fail! You lose! <laughs> Um, the fact that Timmy knows that his video was not inherently factual, but very biased, misleading, yet still keeps the video up is so gross. And you, yeah. I don't know why he's hiding it since you're filming. I know, I'm staying alive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you everything that um, I wanted to ask him. Look at my Obi taking Timmy's, Timmy, <laughs> making Timmy crumble. So I was going to ask him about misattributing the quotes, which obviously he tried to dance around DMs. Okay, gorgeous. He tried to dance around. Um, oh, let's see. Um uh oh dude that's th this is embarrassing to me really dude Re fucking really man like actually really though like my 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 brother in christ like really okay whatever what what really man um him just misattributing quotes which was absolutely nonsense um, I'm sorry, chat, that it was chaotic. I, I, you know, good work, though. I wasn't going to let him get away with his bullshit. Um, uh, he got into private. Uh, I was going to ask him why he was playing hide the ball with the facts in order to form a face, fake conclusion by doing the, here's what this article says. Now, I just want to point out to you that in his, in his video, his reason for showing that article is he says that I wanted to gauge the reaction to the TED talk, but he brings up a comment on an article about a book which has fuck all, sweet fuck all to do with the TED talk. Um, but is, would he address that? No. Instead he go, well, you didn't read the book. 
Um, uh, and, and I have all the quotes here. Um, he said that Sue couldn't have known and that nobody would have known. I would have loved for him to back that up. They didn't happen, did it? I'm still coming to terms with the fact I'm watching a live stream about Columbine right now. What universe did I <laughs> He legit included barely any footage in his vid. The, the TED talk, he includes less than a minute. I think this is diversion we need. Does Timmy only have two videos on his channel? He had a bunch of videos. You can see some in his playlists. Um, other ones are on private and stuff. You can go watch them if you want. I wouldn't. Um, I was going to ask him when she says those exact words that Sue could not have known. I was going to ask him. Would he have addressed it? No. Um. <laughs> okay, thank you, gorgeous. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and then, oh, shit, can I not, hold on, I need to, uh, the unknowable, we were going to address the unknowable thing, the point is that Sue, in her TED talk, and I tried to address this with him, and he was refusing to accept it, is that, in the TED talk, when Sue is talking about the unknowable, what she says is, that you can't always know what someone is thinking and feeling, right so you can't always know what's going on inside someone's head but his premise is that sue should have known what dylan was going to do because of what goes on in his room that he had notebooks and that he had the tapes because when later on in his video when he's talking about the red flags he says um that the the there were red flags that sue was missing left right and center the red flags were as goes thusly uh, the red flags were Eric's website, which Sue did not know about, but he was just going to play off. I don't care what, I don't care what Randy Brown has to say, even though he reached out to Randy Brown to try and get Randy Brown's opinion. Makes no sense. Um, he, he, the, the other ones was, uh, Eric's threats to everyone and Eric, it was all about Eric. It was Eric, Eric, Eric. It had nothing to do with Sue. And also that the police had been warned, which the police didn't want Sue. So that's not Sue ignoring any of those red flags. I would love to have brought that up. Um... Uh, the, uh, let's see. Uh, and, and, like, even here, there's more quotes of, uh, have you got a Discord server? Not currently. There will be one in a couple days. Um, uh, why, why did you deceive everyone into thinking that Judy Brown had warned Sue about Eric's website, the pipe bombs, the death threats? She didn't. She, she didn't warn Sue. And then I was going to read quotes from Sue's book. And it goes thusly. In Sue's book, she says, uh, We waited out. This was the morning of Columbine. We waited outside in the sun, perched on concrete steps or leaning against parked cars. Judy approached me, dropping her voice confidentially. She told me about a violent website Eric had made. Still out of my mind with worry for Dylan. I didn't understand why she was telling me about it until I did. She known Eric was disturbed and dangerous for a long time. Why didn't you tell me? I asked, genuinely baffled. She had told the police, she said. And then, um... Not knowing about Eric's website is a huge regret. This is later in a book. And it emphasizes how important it is for parents to share the information with one another. Though the conversation might be uncomfortable, it's understandable Judy didn't come uh, come to me about the website. When the two boys were arrested, she'd believed that the police had taken action. She had no idea that Eric and Dylan had been arrested for a theft that had nothing to do with Eric's threatening behavior. Just as I had no idea that Eric had threatened Bur Brooks or anyone else until the afternoon of the tragedy. And then we have Judy Brown on CNBC saying, that she hadn't told them about the website and that when sue found out that uh eric uh, were that about eric and what eric was saying on the website that she was surprised to find out that eric was such an angry person she had never known that all all of this is not rhubarb it's all rhubarb um <clears throat> you don't care about people uh anything to say let alone the people who are actually there yeah um you need to upload this oh i'm gonna i'm gonna upload this the second that i end the stream i'm just all this this bit too. Um, wait, did the interview already happen? He ran away. Timmy ran away. He, he started trying to dodge things, move to different sub subjects. I asked him about why he um, why he cut the footage of Sue. He started talking about uh, Miranda Singh's apology and then ran away. You doing a full stream today? I haven't decided. Maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, wait, he deleted loads of videos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is what it is. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I was gonna ask him, dude, there's so many questions. Let me just run through these. You said that Randy Brown was the first person to correctly assess a modern shooter in history. What made you say that? There's no truth to that. Um, uh, you talk about the mountain of evidence. We we're gonna talk about that. Why did you misrepresent the Mother's Day argument as being about Mother's Day, even though it was not? Um, she, he says that she refuses to take responsibility, uh, failing a, as a mother, and that she tried to downplay what her son did. I've already refuted that when I read you the two quotes earlier. 
Uh, he said that Sue worked in a psychiatric hospital without mentioning she was a therapeutic art teacher. Now, before people try l lunge at me over pointing out that, uh, that an art therapist isn't the same as a psychiatrist, you have to have qualifications in psychiatry in order to give a DSM diagnosis. Being a therapist, you have to be highly qualified. An art therapist, just to be clear, you have to be highly qualified, but you can't do DSM diagnostics, so you can't expect them to be able to spot mental illness in the these people you should have had like a white bottle eyes it would have been genius uh you say that sue doesn't try to keep dylan away from eric but the diversion notes say different absolutely and like you saw this was one of those things with the the diversion notes he says that it was sue that says those things the whole way through he tries to twist it to it was sue that said it It was sue that said it even though i keep pointing out it wasn't it wasn't sue that said those things um but does he care no because he doesn't care about the truth why are you so willing to forgive the police for ignoring the website i tried to bring this up he says that he doesn't even though he clearly does um why did he not bother to fact check the narrative that columbine was the only shooting with two uh, killers obviously not true um <laughs> but my orby are you qualified to dismiss miranda sings references no you're right i'm gonna delete my channel i will delete my channel um uh i was gonna ask him why did he do a hit piece on sue klebold but he ran away uh why should anyone live trust him from now on the thing is if if um if now he releases a video, a 45 minute long video, we will all have to spend four hours investigating if that fucking video is true to find out if it's true. He doesn't hold any weight in this community anymore. We've got no reason to trust a damn thing that he has to say. Um, he tried to do a pop quiz on you, which is wild. I didn't realize book reports were due today. Oh, race cringe. I don't trust him, me neither. Um, I mean, I, I just wanna say that I didn't run away from him. I I would have sat here till midnight. I'd have sat here hours and hours and hours. I just want to say, he reached out to me. He left a comment in my chat and asked me if I would have a conversation with him. And I said, yes, reach out to the business email. He reached out to the business email. He said that he wanted to make this happen as soon as possible. So I said, tomorrow, I've tried, I made space for him to hop on my stream. Even though I had plans for this stream, I made space for him. I was freeing up the whole thing to talk to him. I would have sat here all night, even though he spoke over me, right? And 